gaming, hot topics, hot opinions, and hot ladies, and of course the mute button to love of the playing field. I'm Marissa Roberta. And I'm Lisa Dewan. Aww. And if you have no idea who we are or what's going on here, that's cool. You're new. I'll break it down for you. Producer Tyler is going to put two minutes on the board, and topics uh, will be given to us that we must discuss. You'll also see those at the bottom of the screen. That is real. And at any point in time, if one of us gets out of line and definitely needs to shut up, AJ, put that down right now. I'm showing there, the audience. You, they, they can see it. Listen, there's a mute button here, okay? And I can hit it, putting us all out of our misery when I shut AJ down. Let's kick off our stories with some fresh drama in the FGC. I love it. At the Mix Up 2019, a Street Fighter Capcom Pro Tour event in France, the organizers changed the rules just a few days before the start of the event. Specifically, they changed how seating works. Seating is now based off of the combined results from the 2018 season, Evil Japan, and the current leaderboard standings. As a result, Pros and organizers alike are complaining about the rule changes, which they say occurred too late and punish players who've done really well in the 2019 season. So, AJ, what do you think of this drama? I mean, do you not feel like it's slightly rude that the organizers have to now change everything based off of this? Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's incredibly rude, uncool. You got yeah. players like Punk there uh, not getting the seating they deserve. Uh, should be top ranked based on performance in this year, mm -hmm. but it's now going to be sixth seed, it seems. Yeah. So that's a, a much uh, more difficult uh, mountain to climb. For sure. It this is cool. Up. Yeah, especially doing this so close to your event. This is uh, this is huge. You got to stick to the rules. They've actually broken the Capcom rules. It's very strange. Very yeah. strange indeed. Also, like, it kind of makes me feel like they're playing Epic's game where they change the rules before any kind of Fortnite tournament. Like, what's that about? Is it going to be a new trend in esports where we're going to flip the switch on you two seconds before you go live? Like, that's not cool. Think of all the work that goes into planning events. Yeah. And, uh, and working on seating and making sure that players know who they're going to be playing. That's very important to them to know going in who they're probably going to be taking on. It's not the game of the moment that you're no. playing. It's the, the meta game of the esports scene yes. and psyching yourself and knowing what your opponent or who your opponents are likely going to be mm -hmm. and watching them more so than the, oh, uh, there's like a 7% chance I might get matched up with that guy. I'm not going to worry about him. Yes. But then suddenly, a few days before the event, realizing like, oh, no, I've got to completely reset my strategy here moving forward. Yeah. This is huge. This isn't cool to players. I can see doing this, you know, in your low local tournament, you know, yeah. in your rural area. Hey guys, we decided to do this bracketing and you know, we're gonna feel fun. I'll tell you more at my grandmother's house on yeah. Sunday. That's fine, I but when like you're, you're at this about level. Most melee events. <laughs> I mean, it's not I, cool. I agree, it's not cool at all. Uh, like even because I also TO as well, and we did a Street Fighter event, and the Street Fighter players like will message you if they don't have their matchups, if they don't see some kind of bracket well before, they yeah. wanna know who's gonna be playing with them, what's gonna yeah. be going down and how they're and gonna match up. The explanation for for this too was so lame. It was like, yeah, yeah it's not enough time has passed for us to properly uh, do this it? bracket. It. It's already ha we're more than halfway through April, which is the yeah. fourth month of the year. Yeah, you've got enough intel, you've got enough insight. And you shouldn't be, have to go back to 2018. Exactly, for this. and you're right. Punk has been turning it up. Like literally, yeah. the second 2019 started, it's like been Punk's year. So yeah, yeah he's got kind of salted on with this. I don't mm. like it. Maybe they've got something against Punk. Oh, scandal. Well, Let's elsewhere look into that. Where in the FGC? There's a surprising New York that's picking up players. South Korean team T1 has signed Smash Ultimate players Anti and Larry Lur as their mm. first FGC players. T1, of course, is best known for its League of Legends team and has mm. primarily signed Korean players in its other games. So, Marissa, what do you think of uh, T1 getting into uh, you know American esports and signing mm. American players for Smash if well, fighting games? Well, I think they must smell money. Well, that's I think the motivation behind most they, businesses. Yeah, in, AJ, I, I know that. That is my point <laughs> most days. But uh, they're coming over this way and they're just pulling over a couple of little players that won't cost them much because right. FGC players are pretty cheap. They're just like solo lone wolves. They'll right. just rock that merch. Don't have to pay them too much either. Yeah. It's just one of those. Unfortunately, the FGC has been so long standing. They've been doing this for so long, but they've also been doing this for so long with very little money and have been sustaining. Mm. So, orgs see this. They know they don't have to offer too much. Just wear, wear a jersey. We're a logo. Yeah. We'll Do fly to events. Do some content need. creation for us. Yeah. Up our brands. I mean, it, I think it's ultimately a good thing if there are more players who are having these opportunities yeah. to get sponsored and have these, 
you know, deals getting signed with yes, I these sports organizations. don't want these players to get signed to these orgs. You know, a la Echo Fox, they signed a lot of FGC players, a ton, right. in fact, when they first started. And then in the last year, uh, just this past year that went by, they dropped a buttload of them. They just dropped them because they weren't pulling their weight, they weren't making enough dough, but like they oh. signed them for a little money too. So there's like a give and take with this. Yes, you want to show off your brand, you want to branch out, you want to reach into the other regions of the world and pull players over, which is mm. cool because they'll be rocking your merch in on the NA side of things. Right. Great. But how long will this last? I don't know if these players are putting their eggs in this basket now that will break so easily the second they realize, you know what, we're not making that much money off of them, so actually, never mind. JK, JK. But esports is like exploding. It just keeps growing. Yeah, Everything's going to be fine. You no. Know, Everything's going to be fine. No, that's what everybody You're thinks. You're such that's a pessimist. Not the, that's not, I'm not a pessimist. I'm just a realist. <laughs> I, I, I understand how the world works. This bubble will burst eventually, people. Like, it has to. There's no way you could be tossing all this money. There's just money flying Are you just everywhere. Are you me to hit the mute button right now, I, Marissa? You, a kind? No, <laughs> this is what I believe. But if you want to hit it, AJ, if you got a point to make, you I do it. I don't friend. really have an uh, alternative point. Check I, it I think out. you're more in the know on this check one than it I am. Out. But it it seems like you're <laughs> going on there. Quiet, AJ. This is your scene now. Right. Overwatch News: The game's lead director, Jeff Kaplan, has a firm answer for people who say the game should go free to play. During a live stream at Blizzard HQ, Kaplan said there are no plans to make the game free to play anytime soon. Some have argued that going the free to play, play route will make Overwatch more popular as they worry the game won't be able to last as a paid title. So, AJ, Overwatch man. Yeah. Overwatch man. Should they go free to play? Mm, not yet. What? I don't Maybe not yet. think. I mean, if the idea is that everyone's worried that Overwatch isn't going to sustain unless they go free to play, mm. I, I don't think so. I think it's got a healthy player base. There's obviously still interest in Overwatch League. I can understand why going free to play would potentially, well, would bring in a whole bunch of new players because finally mm. you can play this game for free. You're not losing any money on it. But I worry that if you switch to a free to play um, style of game, you're gonna incentivize more your, your loot boxes and mm -hmm. all the other little ways that you can make money. Currently, Anything that they put out there content-wise, aside from just buying loot boxes, is just a free update to the game. They just put out a huge one okay, in the last couple... Okay, quiet now. I have things to say about this, because I do think they should go free-to-play 100. They need to get more kids involved, and kids will jump in if it's free-to-play, just like they did with Apex, just like they did with Fortnite, and they're still, that they're still living that life, asking mommy for all the money so they can buy skins, all the loot boxes. Yes, that will happen with Overwatch League, for sure. But I gotta say something, Jeff. When you go free-to-play, you better give me my money back. I swear to God, I spent money on this game. I want that money returned to me in loot boxes so I can open those babies up and apply the skins to my many heroes. Okay? Is that fine? What? No, here's the thing. I, I don't need my money back. I'm happy that I paid 60 bucks for this game that continues to give me all the goods. I can invest for these loot boxes whenever I want to. I've done it only a couple of times, and then otherwise I just play the game enough that I get a fair amount of the skins that I would want in game. And who really cares about the skins anyway? You're playing the game for the fun of it, not for looking good in the game, unless that's like your thing and you just game to be fashionable in a virtual setting. That's just a weird way to do it. No, keep the game in its current state at least for a little while longer before you even begin exploring this whole free-to-play thing, which is unnecessary, and you would have to redo your like financial models there. I do not want to have to pay any extra with an Overwatch right now unless I want to buy loot boxes. Mm. All right, moving on uh, for our final story. A surprising face made it on the list of Time's uh, 100 most influential people. It's Ninja. The popular streamer was included in Time's annual list in the Pioneers category, and his bio was written by NFL wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster. He said that Ninja is an absolute legend and a big reason why esports is popular today. Simple question, Marissa, is Ninja deserving of being named one of the 100 most influential people in the entire higher uh, world. Yes, in the sense that he did really jump the fence. He really went into the mainstream. Like he was on Ellen. He was like everybody knows Ninja's name. Moms and dads everywhere, even yeah. grandmas and grandpas know who Ninja is. So for that reason, yes, absolutely. On the other side of things, there are far more influential people in the esports scene that I feel like should have gotten their recognition, especially if they're making esports better, making esports something mm. that it is. Like Red Eye has been a long-standing member of the esports community. Even Golden Boy, like these are amazing streamers, people that are 
favorite casters that are actually living in the esports world. Ninja had some life in esports for sure when he was doing Halo, but then he kind of went to the streamer route. So right. does, do, does a streamer life equal esports? No, not at all. Those are two completely separate things. Yes, they but give him events to do, mm. but it's not technically esports. So I suppose it's on people's lips a little more now because they associate Ninja with esports, but he's technically not it's like not an accurate. esports dude. Exactly, and and if you're not at all aware of the world of esports mm. and gaming, then you just lump everything with into Ninja. one. So yeah. yeah, he has broken out in a big way, mm. deserving of. It's almost like the, the list could be, you know, fame, the 100 most popular versus yes. influential. Although if you look at a lot of streamers, mm. he's certainly influential in like even just his style. How many other people have emulated his haircut and color? Yeah, and but I feel like he's, sort of rock, he's rocking that YouTuber streamer look though. Like if you think of our friend, friend of the show, Green Skull, by the way, who has like, he's always <laughs> rocked that hair. I certainly wasn't thinking of Green Skull. No, but he was like, he's always dyed his hair a different color. He's always dyed, been the YouTube guy, it's like a thing to do. Do, his hair is green and now yeah. everybody is like every time I take a photo with him or post it they're like oh is that ninja <laughs> is that yeah, ninja yeah. like just making fun of him yeah. asking him if he's trying to be ninja like no he was doing it first he was doing it first like these guys he's just rocking the YouTube look it's not yeah. like uh, but I suppose because that's the first time people are introduced to it it's now ninja so he is a full-on influencer he does influence other people on the things they we'll do. We'll see whether he'll make the list next year or whether we'll all try to remember who was that streamer guy that was hot for a second in 2018, 2019? <laughs> nah, he's legend now. Okay, well it's now time to see what streamers are up to in Clip It. And our first clip comes from a Chubby who uh, <laughs> wanted to check out the view from her hotel room. Uh, why? Why is more up? Hey! Speed, please. Hey. So slow, yeah. What? What? Is, what view? What? What is? <laughs> The window that opens up into the kitchen. Um, okay, so I love how many layers she had to go through just yeah, to get to yeah. that nothingness. <laughs> well, it looked like there was a fridge in there, and I kind of wanted yeah. to crawl through and see what was in the fridge. Like that would have been put her yeah right? fridge contents outside Next instead of level. In the fridge. But I'm assuming you have a terrible. We we all have had them. We've terrible done enough traveling experience. over yeah. the years. Um, one year going down to Los Angeles for E3. Mm -hmm. Actually, I checked into the hotel. I was pretty tired. Um, and I went upstairs to go to my room, and I was like, okay, looking at the, the hall, it was kind of T-shaped, and I went down the left way to the hall, counting down the doors. The shining. Yeah, and, and I'm like, okay, so the next door, but there's a wall here, and then, uh -huh. okay, so there's a door here, that's not my room, and uh -oh. the wall. I actually went back downstairs, went to a guy, and was like, I think you checked me into a room that doesn't exist, because I was up there, and I, like, my room, yeah, yeah. it's just not there. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, no, no, go back up, and he came up with me, and we walked down the hall, uh -huh. and he's like, yeah, it's just down there on the left. I walked down the hall again, and I was standing there, I'm like, yeah, no, there's, there's the no wall here. here. No, there isn't a wall here. My mind had moved the wall at the end of the hall up to this little... I don't know, what? threshold area thing. It was the trippiest thing. You know in those movies when they do that like rack focus shot where everything just goes Yo, AJ, It happened in my mind. Okay, I was AJ, not even on drugs at the time, well, folks. I was going to say, like, you need to straight up stop doing drugs. I like, was, that, that I was sober a little you. jet lagged, but it okay. was the weirdest thing in that Fine. hotel. We'll get you help. Bizarre. The help you deserve. Yeah. Pokemon is back from her Euro trip in her room. Technically, it's Pokemon, people, okay, because her name is Iman, but whatever. Her roommate, Fedmeister, decided to welcome her home with a delicious gift. I don't think you pepster. I think it's close, close your eyes. Okay. Open your mouth. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Alright, bite. Alright, now chew. Is that a hot pepper? Can you promise me it will be hot? It's not hot. It's not hot. Okay. Keep biting. How's it taste? Weird. Is that a bug fed? That's a cricket. Actually, it's a grasshopper. Okay, let me get the options, holy. <laughs>
Oh, God. Okay, poor girl had no idea what she was eating. That is not cool. If anybody ever did that to me, I swear to God I will riot. Do you not think they went too far? I don't know. It's a cooked grasshopper. It's not that terrible. What? There are places where eating bugs yeah. is very common. And in fact, we should all switch to a bug diet in order to curb global warming. I think it's a great thing. Okay, this took a turn. Listen, it, it um... <laughs> it is truly the best time of day where we scroll the Twitters to bring you the cool or not so cool things the pros are bragging about. Street Fighter Pro Knuckle Dew decided to share a little something from his day. He says, today I was driving and I usually don't wave at people because I'm kind of shy, but I decided to wave at this older woman. She didn't wave back and then gave me the middle finger. Well, that's nice, but I mean, there's Why was different he kinds. That's what I mean. There's different kinds of waving. Like, was it like an earnest? Was it like an earnest? Like, wave like this? Like, you just wanted to? But, but I don't even know. Still, yeah. Right, like, what's up? But even like doing this, like earnestly, it kind of looks like you're trolling. It kind of looks like you're, yeah. you know. If there was someone just waving at me randomly, I'm always like, what? Yeah. What why? Did what I did I do? Or I'll do like one of these. Yeah. Like, I think it's something. Do I know you me? or what? I don't know. Knuckle Dew, honestly, I feel like he's kind of a troll, though. Like, he's done this to me a few times where, like, he'll, like, we were doing business and he sends me DMs about something that, like, sound the alarms for me. Like, oh my God, he can't do something now. But no, he's like, haha, just kidding. Like, three hours later, he'll tell me, I'm just joking. Like, don't, dude, don't do that. Yeah. Just stop trolling. Mm. Ain't nobody got time for that? All right, moving on. Next up, CSGO Pro Dick Stacy is here to serve. Oh. He says, giving a few lucky ladies a chance to see this up close and personal at I Am Sydney. <laughs> See you soon, BB. Why, <laughs> baby? Baby, I guess. See you soon, BB. Um, yeah. yeah. He, hmm. uh, she, Frankie replied to that saying, "Just cover your nibs," and then he replied to her saying, "Only if you cover yours." Um, Is this which like jokes taken too far? In the esports scene of just like esports stars posting yeah. very racy photos, being like, "Hey, um, I'm available." Yeah, yeah. They like to they like to have a little fun. Okay. Because why not? It's all about branding, right? And if you brand yourself as a fun guy, well. Maybe you might maybe get some sponsorship deals, and come maybe your way. yeah, maybe he'll get like a I don't know, kind of some kind of underwear sponsorship. Right. Why not? He's probably pushing for that. Listen, oh. our last profound thought is a little bit of good karma <clears throat> before the long weekend, because you know we're gonna need it. Especially the way AJ hits the sauce. He says, <laughs> procrastinating hard, just visited seven different friends at their places of work and brought them each coffee. I don't even like my friends. Ah, oh, Rich Campbell, you're so sweet, man. Like I, it's so sweet and so savage that like I also have something from my friends that I don't really like. AJ, happy Easter. Amazing. But I, that's so sweet. I'm giving to you now, but I'm gonna be savage and make you take a bite right now. What? And I have to take a bite? Yeah, and then you have to. Yeah. And then read my next row. No, it's okay. I'll read it for you. Mm. Aw, how's it, muffin? Mm. Not good. Is I'm it? Have one does it cool. taste like Easter? It does now. Ah, oh, we are no way sponsored mm. by the company that makes this donut. Mm. Moving on to crowd control. This is where we show the best memes and stuff floating around the internet. The first post was from Redditor Unholy Knight of Bihar, or Bihar, who proves that a perfect license plate does exist. I can't. So we have here a Honda. Okay. It's a Honda Legend. A Honda Legend license plate. Oh, Zelda. Zelda. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's so. That's so nice. He's a big. He's a big Legend of Zelda fan. That's yeah. amazing. Good for him. Good for you. I'm not really a fan of like the vanity plates though. They've got a. I guess that one's okay. My dad is right. a voice guy, and his vanity license plate is narrator. Uh, R. Yeah. We can do a lot of these for, for games like a Nissan Titan, hmm. Fall, the okay. Subaru Legacy of Kane, or the Chevy Sonic, yeah, the yeah. Hedgehog, the Kia Soul, Caliber. Caliber. That's good, that's clever. Yeah. I don't I don't I don't know. I don't have any of those. I'm sorry. No. I'm not clever with that kind of stuff. It was like the Saturn wasn't there a Saturn video game? Saturn five or Saturn six or something. Um anyway. there's a Sega Saturn. The Sega Saturn, there yeah. you go. Boom. <laughs> Riot Games recently released an updated look, including a new logo, but the community's reaction has been uh, a little mixed. <laughs> so graphic uh, designer It's Hyper Sugar on Twitter decided to take it upon himself to make some slight tweaks. <laughs> All right, right, so I think you have a very amazing logo here, but let's get rid of the S because it's one game and then let's just move this part a bit up because it's just out of balance and move this to the left as well. And then it, it just creates more more dynamic in the logo, you know, then get rid of that part because it's ugly, change the color to more brighter red because it attracts more younger people and it's amazing for a game. And let's just put it in a circle because circles are awesome and a rectangle is just boring and then there's just inverted colors. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, Ooh, that's good. Yeah. That's really good. I love that. That's quality content right there. He smashed their Slyly. logo right up. Sly. Very Dad sly. Jokes. But okay, so which game, in your opinion, then has the best logo? Ooh, best logo? Hmm. I, I'm a sucker for classics. I thought the Quake logo was pretty cool. Uh, mm -hmm. Although that came oh, along with the uh, the Nine Inch Nails soundtrack, so I don't know. That's that's where my heart lies. Just okay, the, so then the worst, in there. worst, worst logo. Honestly, if we can bring up that Overwatch logo again, it just uh, when they announced Overwatch, I'm like, believe me, I love the game, but the logo to me is just like, what is that? It's oh. a peace symbol, kind of broken up, I guess. With yeah. like one section at the top. Is it two man's praying? I yeah. don't know. This means nothing like to me. Shiny. He's got like a I guess shiny it's a, oh, mane. It's kind of a W okay. in it there. It's just yeah. It shines here. It doesn't here. stand it out as together. anything in my brain. Okay, yeah. it's fine. We, we do. We, we can sell an Overwatch all day, can't we? we? We could. Yeah, but we won't. Now it's time for our last post of the day, and it's a juicy one, courtesy of at I Got Silver. Let's bust down. Hi, I want to see you bust down. Oh my, oh, AJ! <laughs> Whoa! Oh. I can't, I You guys mean, got that right. I can't see whether you're shooting me when I'm, you know, oh, down there looking, yeah. right? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure they got good. it. Yeah. Yo, that was fire. I hope someone clipped that. Some Listen, skills. uh, whew, AJ, we gotta clean up after that. That's all the time we have today for our new I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, you can always hit us up on our socials. And someone type in exclamation mark socials right now so we can see our channels. It's going to be Lisa for sure. Watch out for next time. We will see you next week. Bye. <laughs>